OK, so in this example, um, well, this is what they're asking for 5 through. For 5 through 10, they're asking you to find the values where the function is not defined, right? So we talked about a function is the implied domain is going to be all the values that make um, that when that prov all the values for x that make that uh, provide a real number answer. And we talked about two restrictions. Those two restrictions are if you have a value that makes the denominator 0, that value is not defined for the function. If you have a value that makes the radicand negative or an even, that value is not defined, right? So there's two restrictions that we went over on that yet last class period. So our first restriction, we need to figure out what numbers make our denominator equal to 0. So whatever numbers make our denominator equal to 0 are not defined. So I add 3 to both sides. x equals 3. When x is equal to 3, my function is not defined. Right? And then we can just verify that. Plug 3 into this function. 3 minus 3 is 0. You can't divide by 0. So the function is not defined at 3. Make sense? OK. The next one is, if you have a radical or even r root, um, any, any number that makes the denominator ne or the radicand negative is not defined. So what we do for our second restriction is I do 4 minus x squared has to be greater than or equal to 0. Right? Because if we find a number that makes it negative, it's not defined. So this is actually going to tell us what is defined. So what I'll do is I'll just add x squared to both sides. And I get 4 is greater than or equal to x squared. Or x squared is less than or equal to 4. This one actually, I kind of picked a, a hard problem to work on with this. Um, hmm. All right, well, if you guys remember, if you take the square root, Right? But remember when you're making when you're including that negative, you have to include um, you have to flip this sign. So what this means is the value the function is defined. This is where the function is defined. So the function is defined for all values that are greater than or equal to zero. So that means x has to be less than two but x has to be greater than negative 2. A lot of times with inequalities, I like to wrap my head around that. And I'll just say, OK, it has to be between negative 2 and positive 2. Right? Those are the values that are defined. So if those are the values that are defined, what are the values that are not defined? Right? Let me just put it in. Here's defined. Here's not defined. Correct? And that's what the question is asking. What are the values where the function is not defined? So I can say the function is not defined from when x is less than or equal to, oh, I'm sorry, less than negative 2, when x is greater than, uh, greater than 2, and when x is equal to 3. So those are all, so basically what I did is I just wrote these as an inequality. That's when the graph is not defined. Now, how can I write this? So that's, that, so that's what you're supposed to do for 5 through 10. You're supposed to find the values when the function was not defined. For question number 14, which this is pulled from, you're supposed to find the domain. So what exactly is the domain of the function? How did I have negative 2 to 2? That doesn't make sense. Well, this is, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, yeah, but it's saying x equals 3. That's when, it's that's when it's defined. No, no, it's defined between negative 2 and 2. Right. No, but 3 is in the denominator, though. Oh, no, no, you're, OK, you're right. Thank you. I was just thinking, my, thinking through my head. Perfect, thank you. OK, so that's when it's not defined. If we're looking into identifying the domain, thank you very much. I had to think through that. If we're looking for the, the domain, we are only looking for when the function is defined, right? 
So we know the function is um, only defined between negative 2 and positive 2, right? Now we know that 3, the function is not defined as well, but 3 isn't within that domain. So we can just write the domain as negative 2 to 2. So again, what the domain is, is what are the values when it's defined? And what we're asking, Holly, from 5 through 10 is what are the values when it's not defined? Okay? Anybody? Yes, questions? 